if you're in the foreclosure process, what is discovery and how can it be used to help you get the information you need to win your case or to defend yourself against the bank's unlawful case. My name is Mike Waslick. I am a foreclosure defense lawyer here in Florida with Ricardo and Waslick, and together with my partner, Jason Ricardo, we help people just like you defend yourselves to overcome foreclosure and debt collection with dignity. So today I'm gonna to answer the question of how, what is discovery and how can you use it to get the information you need to protect yourself against a wrongful foreclosure and to defend yourself when the bank forecloses on you improperly. In every lawsuit, in every civil lawsuit, whether it's the federal level, state level, virtually every state, um, with the sometimes exception of small claims court, um, in almost every court, in almost every place in the land, both parties have a right to do an investigation of the other side's case, and that is called discovery. And it takes a couple of different forms. One, you can ask for documents. Two, you can ask them to answer written questions under oath. Three, you can take the deposition of a witness from the other side, meaning that you can answer, you can ask them questions under oath that they're required to answer under oath to give you the information you need. Now, uh, just because you have a right to ask for this information doesn't mean the other side's going to give it up voluntarily. Uh, in fact, you know, whenever we see a foreclosure lawsuit, when we ask for the other side to give us information, most of the time the first response is going to be, we don't want to give it to you. You know, we think it's unfair or it's somehow you're, you're, you're making it too hard for us to answer this question. You know, we, you're asking for too much information. It's going to be too expensive or too time consuming for us to answer. And so we're not going to give you that information. Uh, and they might give us like a, a fraction of the documents or the information we're asking for. Uh, so in a case like that, if they object to giving the, uh, giving the discovery responses back, you know, we may do something called uh, a motion to compel. And that's basically asking the judge to order them to give us the information. Now, in that situation where we've asked for information, the other side has refused to give it to us because they claim we're not entitled to it for some reason. The judge has to decide of the information we've asked for, how much of it are we really entitled to and how much are they going to make the other side cough up? And is it really too burdensome for them to produce and in, in a way that makes it unfair for the court to order them to give it up? So just because we ask for something doesn't mean the court's going to make them give it to us. It doesn't mean that they're going to voluntarily give it to us. Uh, but in almost every situation, um, we use discovery at certain tactical points in the foreclosure lawsuit to make sure that we have the information to formulate a defense, to understand what the other side's case is going to be against our clients so that we can adequately prepare for any hearing or trial. Um, one of my favorite techniques, by the way, is I like to take depositions, and here's why. Um, in a deposition situation, the questions I'm allowed to ask are much more wide ranging than they would be on paper. And the answers I'm gonna get are usually a lot more uh, honest because they, they, they're they asking a question live and answering a question live without the benefit of having their lawyer coach them on what the answer is. And so what that means is that I'm more likely to get information that is actually useful for my client when I take the time to take a deposition. Uh, I can ask them about documents, I can ask them about the history of the loan, and, uh, and, and you know the person I'm talking to may not know the answer, they may rely on documents, but what they're not doing is they're just signing off on an answer their lawyers prepared for them, uh, which is often the case for those written questions. So that's one of my favorite discovery techniques. Now, if you are in the middle of a foreclosure lawsuit and you have a question about how to use discovery for your benefit, uh, you probably need professional help. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a free 30 minute telephone call, telephone appointment with our lawyers. Uh, my name is Mike. My partner Jason and I will both, uh, uh, one of us will be available to talk to you. So what I want you to do is uh, give us a call. The best thing that will happen to you is we figure out a way to help you to take on your case and maybe solve your foreclosure problem for good. If you call, the worst thing that's going to happen is that you leave with more clarity, more information, and a better uh, idea of what you need to do for your next steps to help solve your foreclosure problem for good. But if you don't call, you're still going to be stuck in the same situation you are now without help, without guidance, and without a clear path forward. So you have to be crazy not to take us up on this offer, which is why I want you to pause the video if you need to, get a pen, and write down this phone number. It's 352 
352-567-3173. That's 352-567-3173. My name is Mike Waslick. I'm a Florida foreclosure defense attorney. My partner, Jason Ricardo, are looking to speak with you. So when you call our office, ask for the free 30-minute appointment with Mike or Jason. We're gonna give you the earliest possible appointment. Don't wait until the problem gets too big for you to solve. Don't wait until it snowballs or festers. Call us today and mention that you saw this video, this how to get discovery and foreclosure video, and we're gonna give you that free 30 minute strategy session so that you'll leave with more information, more clarity, and a better idea of what you need to do next. Jason and I are looking forward to speaking with you. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.